Good morning and welcome to day 24 of Vlogtober. It's an awful dreek day as my mother would say. <laughs> it's really sort of drizzly and grey. Hold on a minute, I've just got to stop and throw something into the post box. Hold on one moment. So you may be able to hear the uh, thump of the windscreen wiper every now and then. Sorry about that. Um, you will notice I'm on my own. It's Thursday. Uh, Dan has taken Phoebe swimming because she really wanted to go swimming this week. And obviously I'm still quite snotty and recovering from my cold. And it wasn't something I felt was either um, an attractive prospect or a wise one. So he's taken her to do that this morning. I've got a hospital appointment, um, a follow-up appointment to the one I had earlier this month. It's nothing weird. I realise I never said what it was. Very mysterious. But I have... Um, a lump in my face um, and it's nothing serious but that it's the second time it's happened you probably can't even see it it's uh, but it's moved a bit it's kind of here um, and um, because it's the second time it's happened they're trying to work out how to a get rid of it and b um, prevent it from happening again because it's not unusual to get these um, sort of internal cyst type things but to get one in your face is slightly unusual and it it can cause me a bit of discomfort because it puts pressure in my face um so i'm just off to see um the consultant um about that so they can work out what they're going to do basically hopefully it won't take too long hopefully i'll get parked and hopefully i'll get a good 10 minutes of knitting to start the toe of my second halloween sock yes I reckon by the end of today I could have a completed set of socks. How excited is how exciting is that? I'm not gonna flip the camera around because um, I still haven't cleaned the windscreen. So you'll just be looking at that mark on my windscreen from where I moved my um, phone holder. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. I meant to say as well. Um, you would have seen me already this morning preparing some yarn so um, I bubbled the avocado skins away for a bit and I've left it just to soak overnight and I've um, wound off 100 grams of my yarn and that is soaking in water and I've uh, prepared a um, solution of alum with cream of tartar and then when I get back later today because we're going to be out and about I will heat the yarn up in the Morden bath um, according to what it tells me on Google I can't remember off the top of my head and then once I've done that I'll be I'll be able to um, start the dyeing process so hopefully I'll get time to do that today because tomorrow I'm working and the weekend is going to be absolutely insane we've got a house full of people dan's mum and stepdad are coming down tomorrow night um they'll be here until monday morning my sister is coming down on saturday um everyone's going to be at ours for dinner saturday night and sunday we're all going into london because phoebe's west end show is on sunday night we won't be able to pick phoebe up from that until half past nine in the evening and we've got to get a train back from london to Kent so we're not going to be home until at least 11 p.m. Um, it's going to be a long weekend and a long day but it should be really good fun and obviously we're all looking forward to seeing Phoebe in her first proper show so um, but yeah I hope I get that avocado dying done before the madness of the weekend. I'm back from the hospital and I finished my second sock. I just need to kitchen at the toe. I was at the hospital that long. It's now 10 past 12 um, because I had to go for an x-ray to check if, whether or not it was an impacted tooth. They know it's not an impacted tooth. I know it's not an impacted tooth. They have to tick the box. So I had to wait an hour to have an x-ray that took all of 20 seconds. 
Anyway, it's done and they'll be happy because they can now see that it's not an impacted tooth. They think it's a benign cyst, it will just need to be removed and then that'll be that, really. Doesn't, that, that's it. So I'm starving because all I had was a bit of cake for breakfast. Let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> cake for breakfast, not good. Uh, Dad's just making cheese toasties. I'm scrambling beans on toast. And something else for him. And um, then we're off to, um, we think we're gonna, it's really raining. Don't know if you can see that. It's really raining out there. It's really drizzly. So we think we're gonna go to Knoll, which is a sort of country house and park down in Seven Oaks, just a bit further down from here. Maybe about a 20 minute drive or something. So we might do that because we can have a wander around the grounds if it's dryish, but we can go in the house if it's raining. That's the plan. We're off to Knoll. It's pouring with rain and it is dark, like night time out there. It looks really bright on the screen. <laughs> Lydia. Um, it looks really bright on the screen, but it's really dark, isn't it? Just a little bit, yeah. still raining <laughs> but it's a lovely view hello Lilia hello it's a bit wet isn't it yeah Hi. just a bit hello Phoebe I would need to read that one and that one and then I've done read my hair okay. won't stay inside my hair Well, photography and that wasn't allowed inside the houses, which was fine. Um, we really enjoyed it. It was really, really, really interesting. Very opulent. Um, opulence! <laughs> um, Dan's laughing because I said opulent, like a RuPaul. Um, yeah, so we really, really enjoyed it. And there was a really good bit from the gate tower, which was kind of set out as the um, Lord of Lord Sackville had it when he lived there in the sort of 1920s and 30s. It was very sort of bright young things. Really enjoyed it. Now we're going to go and find a hot chocolate because Lilia can't go for any longer without food. She might fade away. I know. You're so lovely. I'm so lovely. How's that look, Phoebe? How's yours, Lilia? <laughs> Still as good as the pub. <laughs>
square yard in Scotland. What did you think of Knoll House, Dan? I really enjoyed it. It was good, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, we, we think that we would have been good aristocrats aristocrats wouldn't we yes. aristocrats <laughs> aristocrats because We're i think we would doing have, faffing yes we could just faff about on on our money and buy stuff and have guests that's the what problem they, is that's what they seem to we do we don't have any money no that is a problem but they just seem to have big houses i would have been no good either because i'm a woman and i wouldn't have inherited a thing yes but you would have to have done a from what I told you to do. Yeah, it's very they're... much not the state of affairs. No, that would have been problematic also. <laughs> but yes, they just seem to sort of have guests, decorate rooms, buy furniture and have portraits done. And parties. And um, lots of parties. Yes. That sounds um, sounds Exhausting. all right, actually. <laughs> yeah, maybe not the parties, but anyway, look at this now. Yeah. This is my land. <laughs> I own it all. Somebody farmed it. What, what? <laughs> Do you own everything? <laughs> <laughs> my land. Uh uh. Everything. <laughs> just got home and I've put my soap yarn into the uh, mordant solution of cream of tartar and alum. I'm just going to bring that up to the simmer and let it simmer for about 20 minutes or so uh, and then I'm going to give it a good rinse in um, warm water and at that point I will add it to the dye bath which I've got reheating now. I don't know whether I might strain the dye first actually and then add it that's what I'll do. Last night when I turned the heat off I dipped a bit of kitchen towel into the dye to see what colour it would come out. And it had come out and dried quite a nice pink colour. It looks slightly more pinky in real life. So I'm quite pleased with that. Fingers crossed that translates onto the yarn. I've just, I mean, you can't really see it because this is in full light now, but I've just put the um, tissue in the dye now that is heated up and it's still pink, but it's gone a lot darker. Hmm, how's it going to turn out, I wonder. Right, 
Right, I've lost all light. Ooh. I've lost all light, so it's going to be impossible to show you, but I've got a kind of aubergine pinky colour. Which is going to clash horribly with my unpainted walls. And you're not going to be able to see that properly at all. I'm going to turn the heat off, put the lid on, leave that to cool down overnight. It's half nine. How tired are we? I don't know. Dan's cut his hair, so he looks like a criminal. <laughs> you look like you just got out of prison or something. Not dashingly handsome. <laughs> And we've had a really lovely day, haven't we? Yes, yeah, been lovely. <laughs> but Sound been... like that was a forced. No, it was. We've had I'm a forcing you We've to had say... a really lovely day. It's been a long day. It's been a lovely day. Like to be at home drinking some of this. Dan's got his brew dog. Brew dog. Brew dog. Brew dog. You would think, coming from a Scottish family, that I would be the one that could do a Scottish accent, but no. I can't do accents at all. You can do all accents, can't you? I won't make you do them. Right, I'm going to go and finish editing this vlog and I've got to, I want to catch up on Gainers Day 23. I'm going to drink this.